depending on what kind of part assembly or drawing you're creating in SOLIDWORKS, you'll be using different tools to get the job done. These tools, as stated before, can be found in the Command Manager, as well as the pull-down Tools menu. But there are also several more convenient shortcuts. The first is pressing the button S, opens up the shortcuts bar. And this comes preset with several features, but this can also be customized by right-clicking and choosing Customize. I recommend that once you figure out which tools you use the most frequently, you customize the shortcuts bar by coming into this command tab and dragging out the tools that you use the most often, as this will save you a lot of time when you're modeling a part. Since 2010, there's also something called mouse gestures. If you hold down your right mouse button and drag, there are several shortcuts available. By default, these are just views, but that can also be customized. If I right click on the command manager and go to customize, I can go to the mouse gestures tab. If you do end up using mouse gestures, I recommend going to eight different gestures so you have more shortcuts available. And from here, you can find all of the tools available within SOLIDWORKS. You can see, for example, by default in a sketch, the line tool and the rectangle tool are two of the available options within the mouse gestures. And if you click into one of the boxes, you can assign a gesture. In this case, upper right will create a new part. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I can see I have that new document available. And if I mouse over and release the right click, it'll create a new document. You can also customize command manager tabs. I'll go ahead and right click and choose customize once again. I can add commands to the bar as well as remove commands if I want to do that as well. I can remove out, remove out the mirror, for example. You can also create a new custom tab we'll call this custom and you can add in any items that you'd like to be in this tab as well You can also add or remove any of the toolbars just by right-clicking on them. For example, if I want to remove the heads-up display, I can do that as well. And I can add it back in by right-clicking on the Command Manager and choosing that toolbar. You can also customize where the Command Manager is positioned. You can have it floating. And you may notice that there are several arrows, one to the left, one at the top, and one to the right. If I drag the command manager to any of these, it will automatically snap to that location. If you lose your command manager and want to go back to default, if you double click, it will go back to where it was last snapped to. I'll go ahead and just add this back to the top. And if you want to turn off any of these tabs, you can do that as well by right clicking and closing them out. Out of any way to access the tools, the shortcuts bar, as well as mouse gestures, tend to be the fastest way to grab any tool. Out of all of the ways to access the tools that I've shown, I recommend either using the S for the shortcuts bar or the mouse gestures. I tend to not use mouse gestures because I forget where I put the buttons.
I tend to use the S for shortcuts rather than having to click over to the command manager or pull down a tool you use frequently. You might as well customize the shortcuts bar or the mouse gestures to have all your most commonly used tools.